Hey, it's Brandon here at Pixajar. I just wanted to take a second because I get asked this a lot. How do we use Git? Uh, how do we use GitHub or Git Tower um, in our workflow when, when we're developing WordPress plugins and themes? So um, right over here, I've got um, our GitHub account set up that uh, is showing you some of the repos that we have here. Um, we've got some public and some private ones. But what I wanted to show you right now was how we actually get that kickstart it off from git tower so over here you, you can see kind of a similar list of, of git repos um, and what I want to do here is is go ahead and create a new one uh, create a new github repository because I want this to be stored in a central location so that Jeff and I can both have access to it and um, you know we can both work on it so I'll go ahead and click this button here I have a chance to go ahead and name this so um, I'll just give it a quick name of screencast demo. Uh, you can give it a description here. This will help people find it socially on uh, on GitHub. So I'll just say um, a quick tutorial on using Git Tower with GitHub. Um, if you've got a paid account, you can um, you can go ahead and make this private so that only you and specific uses that you identify can have access to this repo. Um, I'm not going to do that for this purpose, but um, you can when you when you upgrade. Um, and the last piece of information you need is, is really your username and your API token. Um, where you're going to get that information, um, obviously your username here, mine's Brandon Dove, and your, your API key is actually within account settings under um, the account admin. Um, so you'll see a section right here called API token. Um, right under here is this long string of text. You don't want to show anybody this, so um, keep it secret, but um, you're going to take this, this information and go back to get tower, and you're going to paste that right here in the API token. I'm going to go ahead and click create. You're pretty much done now. On GitHub, if we take a look now, we've got uh, under my account now, I've, I've just created a new repo called screencast-demo. If we come down here, you'll see it's right here. Um, I've, got, I've got that set up. So there's nothing in it right now. Um, and, and what I want to go ahead and do is I want to create a local path so I can start adding things and committing files to it. So I'll go ahead and browse to a folder. I'm just going to create a new folder. Call it screencast demo. It doesn't have to be the same name, but it helps to identify things. I go ahead and create that. Choose it. And you can finish it again without, without cloning anything, but we'll go ahead and clone it. And now you'll see it's been added here. Um, it shows that it's a, it's a GitHub repo here with this icon. Um, and when you double click on this, it takes you right into the repo. It's got the remote already set up um, and you're ready to get started with your workflow. All you have to do now is simply add files to um, add files to your to that folder and then they'll start showing up here. That's it. Thanks for watching.